Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing both the first generation and the second generation Moto G. So firstly I want to quickly point out the improvements. The second generation Moto G obviously has a bigger display. It has a 5 inch display and to my surprise the first generation Moto G is a little bit heavier when compared to the second generation Moto G. So that's a plus and if you notice the second generation Moto G has two front facing speakers and if you put both these devices side by side the second generation Moto G is thinner and the first generation Moto G is thicker making the second generation Moto G much easier to hold in the hand and another huge improvement is the camera so the second generation Moto G has a 2 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel rear facing camera so this is a shot that is taken with the first generation Moto G this is the same shot that is taken with the second generation Moto G. As you can see this shot is much sharper and also is allowing more light for the camera to capture. So obviously the second generation Moto G is much better in the camera department. And talking about the battery life this is the area where I was really surprised by the fact that Motorola have decided to include the same battery even though the Moto G second gen has a bigger display. So for me battery is a huge disappointment. So here I'll be running a couple of benchmark tests. So the first test is Geekbench 3 and here I'm making sure that there are no apps running in the background making this a fade test and as you can see I've hit run on both the devices at the same time. So for this benchmark the second generation Moto G came in at a score of 343 for the single core score and 1146 for the multi core score. So the scores are pretty similar and here is a comparison for the single core score against uh, various uh, other devices and here is a comparison for the multi core score against various other devices just in case if you are interested in checking them out. The next benchmark that I'll be doing here is using an app called Antutu Benchmark. Again, I'm just making sure that there are no apps running in the background making this a fade test. So for this benchmark, the second generation Moto G came in at a score of 17,972 when compared to 17,082 on the first generation Moto G. So the next benchmark is Quadrant Standard which tests uh, the entire system's performance. So for this benchmark, the second generation Moto G came in at a score of 9,110 when compared to 8,998 on the first generation Moto G. So the last test that I'll be doing is using an app called 3D Mark Vantage, which tests the device gaming performance. So again, before running the test, uh, I'm just making sure that there are no apps running in the background. And for this test, the Moto G second gen came in at a score of 4712 when compared to 4626 on the first generation Moto G. So if you think about it, in every test, Moto G second gen gave a better score. But in my opinion, it's not substantially better. And to conclude this video, Motorola have been making great phones lately. I mean, the Moto X is the only phone that is missing in this shot. But there's no question that they've been making great phones. But when it comes to Motorola second gen, uh, it's a great phone. But those people who have already bought the first generation Moto G, I don't really see a reason for them to upgrade to second generation Moto G unless they want a bigger screen and a better camera but those who don't own a first generation Moto G and are interested in getting a second generation Moto G go ahead and buy it I'm sure you'll love it. So that's about it for the video guys I hope you liked it and if you did please make sure to hit the like button and share this video it will be very helpful. And make sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in this video's description. And if you're interested in more videos like this, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks a lot for watching.